Hi everyone and um, welcome to um, session three for the morning session track one. Um, this uh, morning uh, for this session we'll be having Radu. Um, Radu will be talking to us about um, e-commerce recommender for e-commerce and um, Radu is the um, founder and um, digital business director at Syncos. Syncos is a digital agency you will love. He's also the marketing lead, uh, which I happen to be his assistant lead, and he's also the uh, which is um is also located at Bucharest in Romania. Welcome, Radu, and um, a lot of people is looking forward to your session. Can you please just go on? All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, so um, I hope everybody can see my screen. So we are going to be talking today for what uh, so far I think it's uh, first for uh, Motic, which is a <clears throat> recommending system for uh, e-commerce uh, built on uh, built by Web Mechanic and uh, powered by by Motic. So basically, we will be talking and we'll be looking at why <clears throat> is this happening, and uh, we will uh, we will actually see the the actual software how it works so basically i'm rather like you know i live in bucharest uh, romania as uh, Oli said i'm the business and digital director and founder for syncos we're a small digital agency focused mainly on uh motic and uh, automation uh you can write me at rather so what we're going to be covering today, it's an uh, intuitive e-commerce recommendation system, which actually helps individual shopper engagement at its finest using uh, Motic uh, as a um, main system in, uh, in behind. Why we uh, wanted to do this? Because we know that 94% um, of the in-house marketers agree that personalized recommendation is critical to current and future success, especially in the e-commerce uh, business. But only 29% of them <clears throat> invest in personalized recommendation and use behavior-based data. Uh, this is also due to <clears throat> the price barrier, which uh, sometimes uh, some of the uh, marketers don't afford the budget of having a really well-known uh, recommendation system based on Salesforce, for instance, or Nosto or something else uh, in, uh, in that map. So only 20% of the companies that are practicing some sort of personal recommendation are doing it so in, in real time. Uh, you can also do it by hand uh thinking of what people are doing on your website or what to recommend but that works when you have like i don't know 50 products or 100 products or something like that when you have thousands of them it's really really complicated to nail the right recommendation for the right person and actually make it personalized so we identified uh, um, four type of customers we have uh, people that are just browsing uh, on uh, on the website, we have people that are doing research on the website in the sense that they compare products, prices, and everything else. Uh, we have people that are very very uh, well documented and they're ready to buy, or they're just passionate about that particular product. And then we have people that are very price sensitive, which reacts to promotions. So we thought about how to facilitate the customer journey. And uh, for that, we have triggered emails, which are, for instance, the welcome emails, the follow-up order emails, the ask a review emails, and so on and so forth, which are triggered by center events. And then <clears throat> we have product recommendations, which uh, <clears throat> could be popular products, best-selling products, uh, you might also like uh, this because someone else with the persona very close to you has looking into it. Uh, we can have promotions, uh, products that we send to each person depending on their browsing history or their interest and so on and so forth. 
Uh, we can also do website personalization in the sense that we can inject recommendation into the website. So if someone is identified by Motic using the tracking system, okay, we can actually personalize by part of the website in order to show them what's relevant to, to them or to their history of purchasing or, uh, or buying. <clears throat> and then, yeah, of course you have the rest of the integration which sometimes is the social proof that uh, we do it where we ask uh, customers that make certain purchases to uh, give us a like on Facebook or put a, I don't know, a review and so on and stuff like that. <clears throat> So the just browsing is just a uh, frequent visit. Um, they usually start to navigate from new products or promotion product sections, and they look through multiple categories. And uh, <clears throat> what we discover is that uh, usually this kind of persona, it's uh, looking by um, at the website by the new arrivals. <clears throat> and the new arrivals is something that it's actually uh, quite powerful in terms of, uh, of e-commerce, especially for the B2C uh, side. So what we did, <clears throat> we are personalizing the new arrivals in the sense that each person uh, that it's registered on the website receives from the new arrivals, which is uh, in this customer case, the last seven days of um, of new products on the, on the site. By the way, they have 54,000 SKUs on the website and the database of around 15,000 customers. So when you have 50K plus, it's uh, really complicated to make a personalized one uh, except that. So we made a personalized new arrivals email that um, we sent out each week. And um, depending on your history on the website and your preferences, then you get different SKUs in, uh, in the email. This is just an example of how the email looks like. Uh, we have also a um, bestseller second visit. So for instance, if uh, they buy something and they look at something and uh, it's not finished, they get a one week email rec with recommendation based on the categories that they have seen. In this case, the penguin has been the most seen by this particular uh, lady, and then she got recommendations with, uh, within that same category, which actually she, uh, she bought after that. Uh, we found that the personalization is the key, and uh, we found out also uh, that uh, CTR of personalized top seller recommendation is twice as bigger as the CTR of the other ones. And we compared this when we made the analysis on uh, data from Google Analytics on, uh, on our customer. And uh, we, uh, we actually got some very good results. <clears throat> and um, this is a personal recommendation based on the categories previously visited by, uh, by the customers. So basically, Based on their history, we look at what they bought and they calculated the CTR just to prove to the customer that um, the concept is working. So what we do, we also do email blasts <clears throat> and we include product recommendation in those emails blasts. So for instance, we have new promotions, which is also weekly. And uh, all the products in the email are going to be sent to that particular customer based on his previous uh, browsing on the website. Um, that's 10 of them. <clears throat> we have 15, <clears throat> 15 in, uh, in an email. So 10 of them we are sending based on the history. And uh, five of them we are uh, recommending the most popular in the new ones. <laughs> And we saw from this kind of activities uh, <clears throat> around 30% sales conversion more than uh, in a regular uh, email promotion because this is more personalized to the things that you actually want to, to have. Uh, according to GPEG, GPEG is a Romanian uh, <clears throat> research company that is specialized in e-commerce. Uh, they made an... Uh, survey of around 60k online shoppers 
and they discovered that uh, 50 percent it's visit abandoned 32 percent it's checkout abandoned and 18 percent it's uh, cart abandoned so for visit abandoned we usually use a recommendation made in focus items in motic just to show them something uh, based on uh, hi the history of browsing. Uh, the checkout abandonment, the cart abandonment, we actually have um, to, to those visitors that we know, we have an email my cart and abandon cart process and can pay. So basically, email my cart is this is what you have, and then you have a bunch of, of reminder, and then in the end, you have some recommendations. Uh, at the end, if they don't actually close the the conversion. Uh, so the question that uh, probably everybody is asking in in its mind is: e-commerce personalization does it uh, really work? Yes, it works, uh, and that's the beauty of Mautic uh, actually, because you can use all the data that you actually collect in the in, in motic in order to make personalization and recommendation retailers really to to the person that is actually uh, the shopper definition so we saw that the product recommendation have a 5.5 higher conversion on those person that have been clicking the the emails than the other ones so for instance if let's say out of 100 emails, 10% are clicking. They have a much higher conversion than the ones that are not reading the email. So how the recommender works? Um, the recommender, it's an add-on for uh, promoting, and I'll show it to you in, uh, in a second. Uh, the presentation is in two parts. It's the theory behind, and it's the software after that, uh, the real one. So we have an integration between Motic and the e-commerce uh, platform for the static data could be done via plugin or via API integration. It depends. So you can actually track data like a number of orders, average order value, last order date, accounts, open date, etc. Then you have a live feed from, uh, from the platform via JSON for products characteristic and you can actually bring, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, the image, the price, uh, the date of acquisition, etc. all the characteristics that you want to use in order to build a recommendation. And then you have the tracking events, which is add to cart, remove from cart, detail view, and purchase. And I'm going to switch now and share my screen. So can I, can I actually show to you guys the real uh, software, how it looks like. Okay, let me log in because it locked me out. Okay, so this is the um, <clears throat> platform that uh, it's provided. Uh, it's Motic, but it's provided by Web Mechanic. And uh, this is the recommendations tab, and it's split it in three categories. So you have the events, uh, you have the remove from cart, and you have the detail view at the add to cart and the purchase. Then we add weight in terms of uh, a number of points for each of the, the events. And here you have how many how many of those events we have logged so far into the system. Um, then you have templates where you actually build um, what, how do you want your uh, email or your dynamic contact to look like, or uh, how do you want your uh, uh, focus item to contain and then you can add different information that you have brought in so for instance uh, you can add old price and then it will put uh, the old price here you can play with the color font size etc you can actually personalize it adding a css style uh, you can also have call to actions which uh, usually it's um 
it's a link like uh, buy now or something else or finish the order or whatever it's the case uh, you can actually uh, personalize it meaning how many columns you want uh, how many items do you want uh, background color you can change it uh, you can play a little bit to the fonts CSS style etc uh, you can also decide which is the item name how do you want to, to do it uh, sometimes you can uh, bring it uh, a shorter name or a longer name depends how the product uh, the website is set uh, you can have some actions in the uh, footer header etc so that's where you actually build your own template uh, if you are really into coding you can actually do your own html if you want to have something really really uh, special like you also do with the emails so that's how it uh, how it looks like and uh, then it comes the most interesting part so to say so basically you have the recommendation itself. So basically <coughs> here you put the name of the of it, uh, the template that you want to use, and then you have uh, categories that you can actually create by yourself. So in this case, this is uh, part of the card recommend <coughs> card recovery. As a recommendation part, it's the abundant card. Uh, we have up to nine items on uh, on it. We can also uh, limit it to some SKUs, or we can limit it to some categories. But in this case, it's not it's not relevant. Then <coughs> you have filters. In this case, it's the event added greater than minus two days, and um, that's how uh, how actually it uh, it works. And then you have a test and. Uh, if you put a test, probably this lady doesn't have anything in, uh, in her abandoned car right now, then you can actually well, actually see something in, uh, in the suggestion. I'll show another one. Um, this is a promotion one. It's based on the discount level that we are offering. So in the test, you can see these are different toys that are now in the promotion uh, in the promotion level so these are most the most popular ones but once you send it to a certain contact this one will actually change here so it will be something dynamic uh, and <clears throat> personalized to that particular uh, particular contact in terms of uh, campaigns because someone was asking earlier in a uh, how you do the abandoned cart? Well, it's very simple. You have a segment with, the, with it, then you have a very simple abandoned cart with three steps. That's all of it. And something very, very, uh, very, very simple. It's um, <clears throat> the way that uh, we use it. We use it. Um, uh, we use it by, uh, by email and then uh, <clears throat> we actually uh, can uh, do also um, recommendations by uh, pop-up or dynamic contact in the in the website. So as I said, you have four different types of events that you track. Uh, you have add to cart, move from cart, detail view, and purchase. All of these are tracked within the contact history, and basically you can actually see what's happening for for each of them. These are needed in order to understand how the contact is um, interacting with a, a website and having basically all the information that you need in order to run a recommendation system or an abandoned car system or an email my car system and so on and so forth. The template, it's allowing you to build the kind of the recommendation the way that you would like the um, um, visitor of the website the identified visitor to see it it is very helpful and it's very uh, useful especially when you have anonymous visitor that Motic is tracking and you want to show them for instance in a focus item uh, a discount code in order for them to finish an order or 
um, get into um, an email list or whatever it's the case. Uh, for instance, for Black Friday, this Black Friday, we had a customer that is using this and uh, out of the uh, focus item recommendation on the checkout page for anonymous visitors, he managed to uh, get the full information and make them actually uh, buy to 14% of the uh, full abandoned uh, cars of the anonymous visitor because his website is allowing to buy without being registered. So that was a very good test that we did. And it proves that actually personalization is actually working. Um, for uh, the templates, uh, you can have as many templates as you want. Um, you just have to think of why, how do you want to present it to the customer and to the person that is visiting the end. Um, Maximum of the templates that we have, it's uh, unlimited. I have, for instance, for this particular customer, six different templates for six different things with six different um, designs. And uh, it helps because you can create different recommendations for a little thing. Um, this being a kid store uh, for toys and the products for kids, uh, we have a dedicated template for future moms, for instance, uh, which was designed uh, with, uh, with that in mind. Um, once you have the templates and when you get into the recommendation itself, uh, you have three things. You have the details, which you actually define it, put it in categories, choose a template and so on and so forth. Uh, and then you have the filters and the filters are the usual filters that you are working in uh, in Motic generally. So basically this, for instance, a discount. Uh, in this example, this is the recommendation for po most popular products that have a discount greater than zero, for instance, minus 5%, and that have been added to the website in the last seven days. So basically, if you want to send someone uh, new promotional uh, products in the last seven days, you can use a recommendation like, like this. And then, of course, you can test it before uh, make it live just to see how it looks like. So to see if you're satisfied with the, how the image looks like, uh, the name of it, the button, the call to action, the price, the old price, the new price, and so on and so forth. So basically, that's how you actually do it. Uh, what's actually very relevant in, uh, in this is um, that um, you can do dynamic content uh, on the website. You can actually insert dynamic recommendation in the, in the website. Uh, unfortunately, the customer didn't agree to show that only the, the email part is a little bit um, afraid that someone will steal his uh, innovation. And um, that's how it is. So basically, this is um, how a recommendation system it's, uh, it's working. Uh, what I can tell you is that I have seen in the last three months that we have been running this for, uh, for our customers, the conversion rate, it's doubled. Uh, versus the conversion rate of Google Ads, for instance, Google Shopping Ads. We have seen that the abandoned cart opening rates and click-through rates are, the opening rate is around 80%. Uh, the click-through rate, it's about 46 to 47%. And uh, the closing, the actually buying is 32%. So it works really well in the sense that it helps you recover um, lost orders and uh, and stuff like that. Uh, we also have, also have some other campaigns in um, in motion that are um, are using recommendations based on uh, the aid of the children that uh, that particular mom or dad that has registered on the website has. Uh, we also have uh, some flows regarding the first the person that only bought once 
um, and they are new to the website. We also have some other campaigns that are using a lot of recommendations. But uh, all in all, this is an uh, example of how you can use recommendations with, uh, with Motic and how you can actually improve an e-commerce business, especially a B2C e-commerce business where you have a great number of products that are not, uh, not very, very easy. So let's look at the questions. Do you have any questions? Hi, Radu. Hi. Uh, wonderful session. So um, okay. if you have a question, please um, kindly um, submit them. Um, you see the link you have on your screen. Um, so I have just one question here so far. Yeah. Let me quickly share my screen. Okay, perfect. Okay. So the question yeah. I have yet it says, um, do you also have a pl the plugin for Shopify? No, we don't have any plugins. This is uh, something that you actually install to the customer using API integration. Uh, so basically, we don't need any plugin. There is a um, initial setup where you actually make the setups with um, with the customer. Um, could be Shopify, could be what else. You can use a plugin, but it's redundant because then you have two things, two, two integration in the same uh, in the same uh, thing. So we don't use plugins for this. We use um, an API integration, and then we have a JSON uh, uh, feed that uh, we bring from the from the website to make sure that we have all the all all of all, all the things that. Um, are relevant to us. All right. Okay. Um, so Radu, um, if I may ask, um, yeah. why did you decide to choose a multi and web mechanic? Why? Well, we we tried different in the beginning, like almost three years ago. We tried different uh, different softwares and different solutions, and we found out that uh, multi is a uh, way to way more, more powerful in terms of integration and in terms of uh, being open source and uh, being able to be using it with um, lots of customizations in uh, in market. So that's why we, we chose uh, Motic. And um, initially we started with uh, hosting Motic ourselves. But then as the, the number of customers grew, we decided that we want a hosted solution and uh, then uh, that so that solution for instance for us was web mechanic but you can choose some other suppliers we just wanted to have a uh, uh, managed service for for Motic that it's working okay great so yeah. um i have two questions here one for yes. Maurik CEO. um mm -hmm. he's asking if you can just quickly repeat how the recommendation plugin is installed so for static data, you can uh, integrate it via API to get the static data. Like for instance, uh, categories, bot, uh, account dates, uh, value of order, number of orders, total number of orders, average value orders, etc. So all of this, you can get it via API, or if you want, you can do it via plugin. The recommender itself, it's uh, installed on the Motic instance as a plugin. And uh, then you have a JSON integration. Uh, it's like integrating a Google Feeds ads, basically. You put all the characteristics that you want and you, you, you bring them into Motic. And then based on that information, you can make segments, you can make whatever you want. Okay, so um, installation practically, we plan. Uh, I mean, well, there is a plan in uh, in motion to have a dedicated plugin to make the setup easier. But uh, in our case, for instance, this this customer, it's a it's a CS card customer. 
uh, I have uh, another customer that having installed, which is a custom made platform. So it depends from customer to customer because each of them has a different uh, need of recommendation and a different need of personalization. So you need to custom made to that particular customer in terms of data that you actually uh, collect because that's the most important part the data that you collect once you have the data then everything is almost possible okay so the question um does that answer the question for Mariko that says um how do you install the recommendation plugin uh you can you can't actually install it it's not open source you have to buy it to to be a web mechanic customer to use it okay all right okay great so another question from ludo um it's saying can you synchronize your segments to facebook google for remarketing yes you can as long as you do the integration via webhooks or uh, zapier as long as you have the and in Europe, you also need to have GDPR acceptance for that. So as long as the the All right. So All right. So um another question from Jeremy. Mm -hmm. So Jeremy is asking, could recommender be used for a good for a job board and also to send personalized jobs updates? Wow. So it, using a case study for using it for a job, uh, a job website. I'm not sure recommender is the right solution for that. Uh, if the job board is made like an e-commerce, yes, it can be done. In theory, yes. In practice, I think it will be too complicated to use it because you have other ways of tracking the information uh, in, uh, in that. So I would not recommend it for personalized jobs update. The personal jobs update, you can do it by um, tracking better the information of the person that wants a specific job and make campaigns based on that. I will not say the recommender is the best option. It has been made for e-commerce okay all right so i um, mean if i may ask is there anything like since someone has asked this is there going to be any plan to be able to do something for anything outside e-commerce yeah i would not see it outside e-commerce you can have it b2c or b2b that has to be e-commerce that's the rationale behind at least until now okay all right, another question. Um, we have two questions from Inda, about three of them rather. Um, the first one is, um, is there a difference between Multic and Web Mechanic? Web Mechanic, it's one of the developers of, uh, of, uh, of one of the developers in the Multic community. Uh, Web Mechanic actually provides managed services for Multic. So basically what you buy from Web Mechanic, it's a, uh, <clears throat> managed um modic it's like buying from shopify for instance for your for your own uh, e-commerce platform okay great so um another question from india is asking um does multic support multic support um account-based marketing yes it supports account-based marketing Okay, another question is, um, is it possible to integrate with WhatsApp? Not directly, you can, um, you can use Trilo for that. So yeah, it's possible, but indirectly. All right, okay. So um, just one more question. Yes, please. Um, how do you, you see the future of Maltic for e-commerce? Well, I think there is a great, um, a great opportunity for uh, for Motic to have an e-commerce uh, approach uh, for two reasons. One, Motic is really really good at uh, segmentation and making personalized profiles, which is actually really important to to any e-commerce owner and e-commerce website. 
And um, the second thing is that being uh, open source, it's a great opportunity for other e-commerce owners or marketers that don't afford really expensive solutions to start having into, into the um, e-commerce side. And the opportunity to have all the data in one place and controlling it and playing with it around gives you bigger opportunity to test different campaigns and different uh, different ways of actually improving the e-commerce part. And um, what I've seen since the pandemic started is that uh, people usually in the past uh, have not been reading emails and recommendations and interacting with the e-commerce the, the way that they are doing now. The opening rates and the click-through rates for the recommendation sites is increasing uh, in the last few months. So probably that's uh, an effect of the pandemic, but definitely it's here to stay. So personalization in, uh, in the e-commerce world and generally in the communication, it makes you being more preferred than other e-commerce stores or website so that's all right our... okay great so thanks so much for your time today radu um you okay, might want to you. go to the um lobby um to be yeah. able to catch up with some people that might still want to be able to ask you one-on-one -on -one questions um it's really been a nice session i'm um, talking about recommender for e-commerce and um, i'm sure a lot of people um listened and they've gained one or two things from this um that they would love to engage you for that. All right. Thank you so much for right. your time today. Thank you. Same to you. Bye. Bye.